Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I've got a video of a bunch of new products and I wanted to share with you guys some of them that I think are really really good that just recently came out and some that I think are kind of meh. They're not total misses and I'll explain why but they're really not something that I would say you guys need to run out and go buy. Um, so there's a good mix. I would say it's mostly drugstore with a handful of high-end products. So I will link everything that I mentioned down below if you are interested in checking them out further. And other than that, I hope you'll subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into it. I feel like my hair looks weird today. It's one of those days that I kind of dry shampooed and I was like, we're gonna put it inside ponytail because I just like let it air dry as well. And so it's just like in a weird space, <laughs> just in a weird space. All right, oh, also I want to show you guys this, totally random. We were at Ikea the other day and I found these, I'm using some of them so usually it's fuller, these like gold coasters for like five bucks and it has the holder here and they're, you know, they're not like super well made but it's like metal and then like the foam on the bottom and I thought they were so cute like for my little room here because I do have a wooden desk and I don't want to completely ruin it. <laughs> so I just thought that was so fun. They were like five bucks. If I can find a link to that, I'll link it below. The first product I wanted to mention that I was like, what? Like how do you use it? <laughs> is this one. I went out and bought this. It's the Maybelline Master Fairy Highlight by Face Studio Illuminating Powder. It says create a magical glow with the Master Fairy Highlight Illuminating Power Powder. Apply with the sponge, sweep the sponge along the rainbow and apply onto cheeks for a magical glow. I do not understand how this works. Now, if you're one of those people that you love like things like this and you'll totally rock it and pull it off every day, that's awesome. I'm not that person. And I know that a lot of people out there, just that's just not your style. So if you swirl the whole thing together, which is not how they say to do it, but if you did swirl it all together, you get this kind of bluish greenish toned, definitely an iridescent highlight, but it's blue green, okay? So if I were to just kind of, here, let me kind of clean it up. So if I were to just swipe it this way, like you would with a sponge, so you can get all of the different colors, you do see a rainbow, which is really freaking cool. But when you actually go to like swipe it, you still only see like the blue. I'm gonna try it again. Okay, you can kind of see the rainbow. It's tricky because of how I'm doing it, I know. Yeah, it's still mostly blue. Let me see if I can get a little of the lower spot. Okay, if you focus lower, you can get a little more of the yellow. Regardless, this ends up being this wild look that it just made me laugh because I'm like, it's a really cool, fun product to look at, but in actuality, unless you are that very specific person that likes that kind of a style on your face, it's gonna be very hard to pull off in everyday settings. If you're like me, I mean, I just felt like, you know, I could get down with this if it were maybe shimmerier and less pigmented color wise because it's so pigmented color wise it just for me is impossible to wear um, whereas if it were just more shimmery with a hint of these colors I think I'd be more likely to try it but I've swept this onto my cheekbones like a couple mornings and every morning I'm like oh no this looks crazy on me so if you found a way to wear this let us know um, other than that I mean you could maybe use these as like shadows or something fun um, or for Halloween, but yeah, just a product that I felt like, mm, I feel like it kind of missed the mark. The next product that I recently, actually L'Oreal sent me these, and I try a lot of products from drugstores and they send, and a lot of them I don't like, I usually tell you. This was one that I did. There is a product that Physicians Formula sent me that I didn't really like, I'll show you in a sec as well. But um, I'm always honest, regardless of if they're sent to me, if you've watched me for a while, you already know that. Uh, these are their Infallible Paints Metallics eyeshadows and so I have three shades that I pulled out that I was like oh my gosh these are amazing and I've tried them like even on my snapchat when I get ready early in the morning I would share with you guys what I'm doing and show you the process and I was like oh my goodness like these are so amazing so oh my gosh they're so buttery they have this cool like honeycomb design on them look at these look at these freaking colors don't these look like Urban Decay shadows? These are absolutely just like Urban Decay shadows. Just that ridiculous shimmer. It's so pigmented. So the colors I have here are uh, 400 Rose Chrome is this one here on the bottom. It's kind of a rose gold. I've been wearing that just all over my lid a lot. Then I have the darker color in the middle is 404 Caged, 
which is this beautiful darker color. And then the golden one is called Brass Knuckles, right there. These are so gorgeous. Like I said, I think the packaging is cool, but the pigmentation and the wear time is amazing. I've worn all of these separately. And honestly, these are those kinds of shadows that you can just put a one shadow look together. You just put the shadow on, blend it into your crease, and that's it. And they just look so gorgeous. They stay in place. They catch the light beautifully. Cannot believe these are drugstore. Well, yes I can, because I've found plenty through the years of amazing products, but always excited when we find a really good drugstore eyeshadow. That is awesome, so highly recommend these. Okay, the next thing is a more high-end one. This is the Too Faced Peach Blur Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder. Packaging, gorgeous. They sent me their whole collection. There are a lot of things I was underwhelmed by and a lot of things I was so surprised how much I liked. This was one of the ones I was so surprised how much I liked. Because at first I was like, wait, why is it like shimmery peach? Why would I want that as an all over powder? You know what I'm saying? But when you swatch this, it's got this kind of iridescent peachy tone to it. I don't know how this would look if you have really deep skin. I don't know if it would end up being kind of translucent the way it does on mine, or if it would look ashy because it's so much lighter. I don't know. But it just ends up blending in, and so it doesn't end up looking peach on your skin, even though I've been using this e.l.f. powder brush that I love, and every time I feel like I, here, I'll just show you. When I swirl it in there, I'm like, that is definitely peach. But then when I put it on, it just looks so beautiful. Like it doesn't, oh my gosh, I just love it. It blurs your stuff together. So if you've got weird patchiness going on with like your blush and stuff, I'll use this to kind of blend it together and I feel like it just kind of makes it look more seamless. Um, I'll use this when I have a little bit of unevenness with my foundation. I'll use this like especially in this region and it just kind of cleans it up. It's such a cool product. I don't really know how it does it but it really, it's just beautiful. It is a powder. It's not like those blurring things that are like a wax. This is a powder. But I just ended up loving it. The packaging feels really high end, so it makes you feel like, yes, this is worth the money. You know what I mean? But I just think the product inside is so cool, kind of innovative in its own way. It reminds me, I guess, in a way of the hourglass powders, but it's a very different, maybe it's a similar look at the end of the day, but it's a very different powder. Um, I feel like the hourglass ones are even thinner and it's just, you know, they're not necessarily peach tone, but regardless, I love this so much. All right, continuing on, a drugstore one that I am uh, obsessed with is this Maybelline Master Blush by Face Studio. I have to tell you this. I hauled this recently in an Ulta haul and you guys were like, wait, I thought you said you weren't gonna buy any more blush palettes. And I was like, dang, you right, girls, you right. But then I was like, but it was so pretty. <laughs> So this one is in the shade 10, and it's got these berry tones right here, and then this peach tone, and then like the highlight. The highlight's all right. It's not bad, I shouldn't say it that way. It's not bad. I feel like for the highlight, if you mix, it's a little bit more of a subtle one. It's like if you mix the Laura Mercier like Baked Radiance powder that I love, that highlight, because it's very subtle. If you mix that with like a really pigmented one, you get this one, because it's like right in between. So I don't hate it, but it's not one that I'm like dying to use. But these blushes are so gorgeous. They blend really well. I think the colors are so pretty together. I mean, I'm not wearing them together, but they're all three so pretty. They're not insanely pigmented. Like if I were to compare, I was just talking in another video today, talking about these blushes from the Balm. These are, those are like insanely pigmented. These are not that insanely pigmented. However, because of that, you can't really screw them up. So when you're applying them with the brush, you, they always look nice. They never look like patchy or um, like way too pigmented. They're kind of right in the middle. So it's really hard to screw them up and I appreciate that. So if you're a beginner or if you're like me and you're like, gosh, my blush always ends up looking crazy because I, I go too ham on it. This is the answer for you. But I still think even though these aren't crazy pigmented, they're just beautiful. I think they blend pretty well together. I think it's cool that you get all of these together since they're actually all wearable and all really good. The one that maybe is not as wearable for me is the berry toned one, but if you have darker skin tone, holy moly, that would be beautiful. I've worn this with a light hand. You can still pull it off. It reminds me, in a way, of Sin from NARS. Huh. 
it's kind of similar to Sin. You can kind of see Sin there. Um, see, but NARS ones don't even swatch that well. And they're beautiful too. So not all amazing blushes swatch amazingly. Um, so totally recommend this. It totally threw me for a loop because I thought, you know, I might like it, but I ended up loving it. Let's talk about a product that I was like, mm, and these are brand new. Physicians Formula sent me these the other day. I got them in the mail. They are their new butter highlighters. There are four that they sent. I think there's four in the line, um, but they're their Muru Muru butter highlighters. They have four shades. The white one is called Pearl. The kind of rose gold one is called Rose Gold. The pink one is called Pink. Gosh. And the kind of lighter gold is called Champagne. So, my gripe at first was, I was like, well, which one, like, if you're my skin tone, which one would you buy as a highlight? And I thought, well, these three are all too dark for me. And so I thought, well, I guess the one in pearl. However, the one in pearl is so white. Um, and because it's this creamy formula, I mean, they had that cool, like, butter texture to them. And then you swipe them, and they're kind of like the ColourPop highlighters, but creamier. And this is so pretty but it's so white. So then I thought, well, maybe I can use like the gold one. Maybe that's light enough. And again, these are all so creamy, so pigmented. They're all the same exact formula. So pigmented. But I thought maybe, but I tried that and it was just too gold. So today what I did is I took the white and I just patted it in this region and then I took a damp sponge and kind of blended it in. I think it looks nice. I think you can make it work. However, it's so much more work than what I want to spend on something like this. And Physicians Formula is drugstore, but it's still kind of on the higher end of drugstore. You know, their stuff is usually over $10. Obviously there are sales, which is awesome. So that's the time to take advantage. But let me go ahead and swatch for you the other ones because I think you just have to be the exact right skin tone for one of these shades to make it work. So this one's in pink. And I would say you could maybe wear this as a blush, but they're so creamy that I would worry that they would just get everywhere, that they would go everywhere. Um, and then let's go ahead and do the rose gold. This one's more of a bronze, to be honest with you. Um, and well, it's like rose gold. Look at the pigment. I mean, they're gorgeous, creamy. But like I said, you've just got to find the one that matches you correctly. And like for me, I really can't, but I know some people are going to find a perfect match and you're going to love these. So they are cool. Um, they're really, the, the packaging is kind of like that I don't know, do you call it just iridescent or holographic? I know some of you guys like really know the difference. I think I might call this, I think it'd be holographic, I don't know. You guys tell us below, I'm sure some of you guys are like, it's this! Um, so, it's not a total miss because it is an amazing formula, but I'm just not sure also how to use it in a way that makes it worth using. Now, I did try the, was it the rose gold one on my Snapchat? The other morning before work, I put it on my eyelid just as an eyeshadow. I was like, I wonder how it wears. I wore an eye primer under it, and about uh, 10 hours into the day, I did take a nap like when I got home from work. So that could have done it, and I didn't notice it before my nap, so maybe it was the nap, but there is horrible creasing. And I thought, okay, I never get creasing on my eyelids. I've been very blessed, I guess, but I never get creasing there. And so for me, I was like, this is just weird to see because I never, so I don't know if it was because this is so darn creamy and obviously it's not meant for your eyes. Um, it did look really pretty though. So I was like, dang, it was really pretty. It looked like a dupe for Indian wood from Mac that I love. Um, anyway, so those are my thoughts on these. All right, a couple more things. A favorite of mine is this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealing Pot. As far as I know, these are new for IT Cosmetics. They've had the Bye Bye Under Eye like squeezy tube of concealer and it's so high coverage. It's too high coverage for most people. Now for some people you need that much coverage and it looks gorgeous. I like the, I think it's a good concealer if you have a need for that high of coverage. But for me, I don't yet. So this, oh my gosh, like what is the shade I have? I'm using light and it's just, you know, a classic pot but it's so creamy, but it actually blends in. Like, I feel like it's not so creamy that it blends away, but it's not so dry that it just looks dry. It's the perfect formula. I don't know, they nailed it. And because of that, I feel like it does a great job of 
um, hiding my under eye circles, but it sinks into fine lines only a little bit. Every concealer I use does, but not so much that I'm like, okay, this is a bad concealer. Um, it just does it kind of the normal amount for me, but I think it's such a nice shade. I end up loving the look when I, when I use this. I feel like my under eyes are so brightened. It stays that way all day. I really, really like this stuff. Okay, this one is not as new, but I wanted to mention it anyway because I've been using it so much for months that I feel like no one's talking about it anymore and they still should be. This is the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation. It's got vitamins, it says it's got SPF of 20 sunscreen. I wear the shade Classic Ivory. The packaging is pretty, it is. They nailed the packaging, but this is, I'm wearing this today. I feel like it makes my skin look healthy. It stays in place pretty well as long as you've got a good primer. And for me, I never feel like I'm clogging my pores when I put it on. And I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe it's a placebo effect because I'm like, oh, it's healthy elixir. And so you get that in your mind that, oh, it's healthy for my skin. But I feel like I haven't had like any breakouts since I've been using this stuff a lot. And I feel like it's a good shade match for me too, which always helps me like a product more. Um, but I just, I really like this foundation. I've used it with a brush. That's how I applied it today. I've used it with a sponge many times. I think I like it better. I don't know if I like it better which way. I, I like it both ways. It just looks so pretty. It's got kind of medium coverage. I think it's a little bit buildable, but I don't think you're gonna get above medium with this, but I just really like it. And I feel like my skin likes it too. So the next product is a new one from Maybelline. It's their Curvitude Liner. You have to, it's got this kind of shape, so it kind of bends up, and this is the tip. So you unscrew it, it's not like a push on, push off, you unscrew it, and it has this really weird shape where it does come to a point, and it's definitely like a sponge tip, but it has these weird like extra lines that I feel like are unnecessary. Um, regardless, I used this today. This is a meh product. I think the idea of this is great and it really, in the weirdest way, the shape of this does make it easier to do like a wing. So that's what I use today to create kind of, I always do like a little mini wing really. And this was so easy to use. It is very easy to use. However, every time I've used this, I felt like it's just not black enough. It's like, I don't know, like I feel like I'm using a Crayola marker, if that makes sense, it, it, that's just how I feel. So I end up having to make sure that I go over it a bunch of times and even then it's not black enough. So then the next time I use it, I use like gel liner underneath, then this on top. Whereas the best liquid liners I've used, you could use alone and they're super black. So the shape is cool, it actually is effective. I do think it's helpful. However, I think the formula needs to be improved, but otherwise, I mean, I like it. So it's like, just make the formula better, please. <laughs> so those were all of my recent finds at both the drugstore and high end. Just some new products I've been playing with and testing and I wanted to share my thoughts on them before they've been out for too long so you can keep your eyes peeled for them if they're good products. I think the most standout product out of all of these that I was really the most impressed by has to be these infallible paint shadows, or yeah, infallible paint metallic shadows. I think they're so, so wonderful and you should definitely run out and at least buy one shade. I don't think you need all of them. Um, my favorite is this uh, rose chrome one, but they're all so pretty, it's hard to pick. So I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe as well and I'll see you guys in my next one, bye.